guys, uh, today I just kind of want to talk a little bit about what it means um, to me being in the military and newly married. First off, me and Rusty have known each other almost five years. Um, we got married in December, so we haven't quite yet been married a year yet. Um, so great first year of marriage because we kind of jumped head first into the military as soon as we got married. Um, he left for boot camp back at the end of February, so we got to spend roughly about three months together being married. Um, and then, you know, he's been gone since then, but hey, it's been great. Um, we are doing very well so far, you know, it's, uh, you know, you have your good days and your bad days. Um, but I know that our relationship, our relationship is strong enough that um, we can weather whatever we go through. Um, but we are looking forward to our future um, here in the next couple months we should know where we're going um, and by probably october we'll be at our new location so we're super excited um so really what i want to talk about today is um some things that i've noticed about being in the military so far and you know with being newly married um just some of the things that i have come across and one of them is stability um, stability as in like he gets a paycheck every two weeks regardless of the time of year regardless of um, you know whether I have a job or not and or whether he's working or not working um, he's always got that paycheck coming in every two weeks so that's what I really like about being in the military you know you get that stability um, you also get paid separation pay for instance right now me and him are separated I'm in Tennessee he is in Florida um, so we do get separation pay um, and then there's also you know the housing allowance that we get um, for where I live right now because he lives on the base down there um, so we get that as well so those are just a few things that we get um, within our paycheck every two weeks um, but it's always nice knowing that regardless you're always being paid um, especially you know once we get to where we're going I'm not gonna have a job at first and we're at least gonna have his paycheck to kind of hold us up until I do find a job um, so that's one of the reasons I like the military is they give you that stability um, regardless where you're at in life so you've always uh, you always know you've got that money um, coming in whether you know whatever is going on um, the other thing is you get support groups um, I have joined a Facebook page um, that is just a bunch of women who are spouses, significant others, you know, girlfriends of the uh, of members of the Navy. Um, so that's been really nice. And, you know, you can ask questions on there about like, you know, housing and, you know, stuff about other bases out there. Um, you know, a lot of girls are on there talking about, you know, the coming up of graduation, you know, from boot camp and all that stuff. So, you know, it's just really nice because you can jump on there and read what other people are talking about or you can easily get on there and ask a question and, you know, everybody's more than happy to answer um, any questions you have. So that's been really nice. You also will eventually get to a specific location and you can actually narrow down your support group to like what base you're on. And that way you can kind of stay in the loop of what's going on around your base um, and like what like out there in the community and just kind of what's going on in the military realm um, at that base so that's gonna be really cool so I can't wait to actually have a place where I know where I'm gonna be at and I can kind of go ahead and start looking for support groups for me um, wherever we're going um, the next thing that I really like is you know we as the significant others the spouse um, girlfriend you kind of build this sense of independence because you're not with your person like like a lot sometimes you know especially like right now for me you know he's in Florida and I'm here in Tennessee so I feel like I have a um, very high independence level because I am alone and I feel like growing up though I've always had that independence um, because my parents always trusted me with everything I always was the one who had the house key and not my three older siblings when we would come home from school in the afternoons but that's beside the point um, I just I've grown up very independent um, you know going to college you know um, doing all that on my own 
um, being away from home and stuff. So like I have a lot of independence and you know this just builds on it because I am going to be able to go wherever we're going and not worry about getting lonely. You know I will have that sense of independence and I will be able to go out there and socialize with people, be able to go out there and find a new job um, without any problem hopefully. Um, so like with being in the military uh, you do tend to grow thicker skin and you grow that independence of going out there and making a life for yourself whether your significant other is there or not um, because they will be gone away sometimes and you just kind of have to go on with life and you know that's kind of what part of it is is they're gonna be deployed sometimes and you just gotta keep going with your life and not wait you know it's it's hard to say that but it's gonna happen and so you have to have that independence to keep going with life whether they're here or not and then when they get back just fill them in on everything that happened and then you know start with them and have him join you and just kind of keep going from there so um, that's one that's a, a, another thing I really like is you do get that independence um, later in life you know whether you're just starting out or if you've kind of had a little bit of independence as you've been growing up um, or you know whatnot so the last thing that I really like about the military um, with being newly married is that I will get to travel a little bit and I you know I've traveled a lot you know with my family um, I've been pretty far out west, um, not quite as far as California or anything like that, but I've been out west and then I've been in all up and down the east coast um, just because that's where I'm from and uh, I just can't wait because we are going to get to travel. Um, so I look forward to that because I might go to places that I never would have imagined going. Um, say for instance we get stationed in San Diego, I've never been to California. Um, that would be really cool just because it's a new environment and when will I ever go out there um, in my life unless I go on a vacation so like it would be really cool just to kind of you know be stationed there just to get that experience and just to kind of you know experience a new environment and new lifestyle and stuff like that um, so that's kind of really cool about being in the military and stuff so that's one thing I do look forward to and we are excited to find out where we're going whether it be east coast west coast you know um, way up north or south or Florida or Texas or Washington State you know we look forward to wherever we're going because we wouldn't really do this any other time in our life unless we are in the military um, which we are so we look forward to traveling um, and we look forward to experiencing all the new things that we come across when we get to that state where we're going or you know whether we get stationed across the ocean or you know overseas you know kind of thing so wherever we go we are going to look forward to um, trying to just find things that we wouldn't do normally and just kind of get out there and explore new things and just learn all about that area so that is one of the things I really look forward to about being in the military so those are just a few of the things that I have noticed since being in the military as a spouse um, so if you wouldn't mind please like and subscribe to my channel um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video thanks bye